So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in internet options. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on the security tab and then you're gonna click on custom level. And now you're gonna scroll down until you get to the download section. Here it is, downloads. You wanna make sure that you have file download on enable. And now you wanna scroll down under miscellaneous, you wanna keep scrolling down until you find launching applications and unsafe files. And now you wanna make sure that you have under launching applications and unsafe files, you have prompt selected. So select prompt and then click on okay. And then click on okay again. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HG current user, and then you wanna expand software, and then you wanna expand Microsoft, and now you wanna scroll down and expand Windows. You wanna expand Windows, and now you wanna expand current version, and now you wanna look for policies. Here it is, you wanna click on policies, and now once you find policies, you wanna right click on it and then click on new and then click on key. And now we're gonna rename this new folder as attachments. So type in attachments, click on enter. And now you wanna make sure that you're in the attachments folder. And now once you're on this, you wanna right click on the blank space and then click on new and then click on dword 30 bit value. You wanna name this as scan with antivirus. Make sure to use the exact same capitals and lowercase as I did and then click on enter. And now once you have this, you're gonna double click on scan of antivirus and then you're gonna change the value data to one. And then click on okay. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.